Hey y'all, Ramdino here, coming at you again for another Appalachian Trail Community News through hiker update and trail information. Well, thanks to our sponsor today, Element Drink Mix, Electrolyte Drink Mix. Appreciate them sponsoring this. We will hear a little more from them later. Uh, I want to thank all of you guys out there for not sending me a bunch of hike naked pictures on hike naked day this past week. Uh, I did get one I'll share with you later. There's more wrinkles in that picture than on my wife's quilt. Uh, but thanks for not sending those to me. And then stay tuned to the end. I've got some questions for y'all out there that I need your help on. So let's go ahead and get to going on with what's going on out there on the trail. So we got Jeff and Myla. They have made it to New Hampshire, and they have started the whites and summited uh, Mount Musilaki. So I probably butchered that, but I'm sure one of you guys out there will correct me, particularly new, you New England types. Uh, but they summited Mount Musilaki. Uh, they said for the tr that the trail's gotten busier. Uh, they have seen more nobos, plenty of flip-floppers, and a lot of sex hikers out there. Said the hostels are full, particularly when you've had all this rain that they've had up north. Uh, and even down here in the south, but particularly up north, you've had a lot of rain up there. Uh, they say they feel tired, but morale is good. And that uh, they're looking forward to finishing the last 389 miles, and they continue to enjoy the trail. So that was one thing that when I ran into folks when I did the um, southern part of Vermont, and, and really even the northern section up there, that uh, as I would dialogue with hikers that I would pass on the trail, uh, they would tell me just how tired they were. So, uh, and then uh, uh, watching another hiker's video that's through hiking, not going to mention their name, but they were talking about how they were going through Vermont and they were just tired. And they, it was obvious they were in some type of funk. Uh, and uh, haven't caught back up to once they got out of Vermont into New Hampshire. Hopefully they got out of that funk. But for some reason in Vermont, particularly when you're just slogging through the mud, slogging through the rain, slogging through the bugs, people just get tired. And by, they've been on trail for, at that point, for you know four months or more. And so folks are just tired. And while they're ready to have be over with, uh, there's, most time they're still enjoying the trail, they're probably getting off of it. I would say you're getting close to the end at Vermont and that soak up every bit of the trail that you can while you're there. Um, just enjoy it being out there, enjoying having the privilege of being out there, of not having to work, of loved ones letting you stay there, of just being able to arrange your life to getting out there. So enough of that. Let me get on with what's going on out there. So Yolo, he has made it to Great Barrington, Massachusetts. Mount Lion and Strider, they have hiked a thousand miles and they are into Harper's Ferry looking forward to the half gallon challenge real soon. McDuck, the Oki, and JFK, they crossed the 1400 mile mark. They say the water and water sources in New York are very dry and they want to give a shout out to the Trail Angels, say how much they appreciate the water caches that have been left there. I know the ATC out there does not appreciate water uh, caches, but don't pay them no attention. You trail angels that do that for those folks up there, you know, a lot of places where they had uh, water pumps at shelters, the ATC took those away uh, because they didn't want to pay the money to maintain them. So the water caches out there could literally be lifesavers. Uh, certainly you shouldn't put your, hikers shouldn't put themselves in a place to do that, but they can certainly be trail savers and prevent somebody having to go into town just to get water. So thanks a lot trail angels for doing that. Uh, Matador, he has crossed the 800 mile mark there around Buena Vista and he has been on trail for about two months and has been hiking with his trail buddy Sultry since they passed the Way of Bald Tower. And uh, Sultry is finishing up his Triple Crown, so that's pretty awesome. Patriarch, he passed the 1,000 mile mark today in the rain and says the roller coaster is tough in the rain. So, yes it is. And speaking of the rain, even in the rain, you're going to be using electrolytes. Even if you're out there, whether it's in the rain or hiking out in the sun, uh, like I was doing on this past uh, hike that I took up there uh, through the Triple Crown. So uh, let me go ahead and show you how things are going for me right quick so that you can see what's going on with me up in the Triple Crown when I did that hike. Hey y'all, Ramdino here. Well, it's been a hard day of hiking. Started out at McAfee. I'm now here at Lambert Field. 
and campsite and my body's missing something and I figured out what it is my body's missing salt potassium and magnesium and all of those things are available right here in element drink mix fortunately I'm out in the back country and I've got some element drink mix so you know Element drink mix is not just for hikers. It's for bike riders, walkers, soccer moms, soccer players, anybody that is sweating out, sweating out those electrolytes. Right now my legs are aching. I'm getting cramps and that's because I'm missing these electrolytes. So I'm getting ready to fix that situation. I'm gonna put these electrolytes in here and I'm using the strawberry salt flavor. And I like strawberry salt flavor. Now they call it salt because that's mainly what's in it because that's mainly what your body's missing. So it's just easy. Pack it, put it in there in a two liter bottle. Shake that thing up. Oh yeah. Goodness gracious, that's exactly what my body needs after hiking here today. And you know what? It pairs very nicely with backcountry lasagna. <laughs> Doesn't matter what brand lasagna is, Element Drink Mix is going to go great with it because it's going to go great with replacing what you're missing. And now, and I'm going to tell you exactly where you can go to get you some of this element and to take advantage of their free offer. Go get you some of this stuff. It is good stuff out in the back country and anywhere else. So one of the things I like about element is that out here in the back country, you don't have to worry about sugar being in your mix. Sugar's not good for you. It doesn't have any of that in it. It's just all good stuff thousand milligrams of sodium salt which is what you're mainly losing 200 milligrams of potassium and 60 milligrams of magnesium that is all you need out here in the back country to keep from getting cramps and leg fatigue things like that and where else would you want to enjoy some element drink mix than at a view like this So to get your Element drink mix, just go to drinkelement.com slash ramdino. And right now, Element, for a limited time only, is giving folks in my community, in any community for that matter, as long as you use this link, they're going to give you a free offer with any order. So uh, that's D-R-I-N-K-L-M-N-T dot com slash ramdino. Go there, and with any order, they'll give you a free sample pack of all of their flavors and they got some good ones out there so go and check them out i'll be honest with you element drink mix really does make a difference uh particularly out there on the trail particularly in the heat uh but all the time and that stuff is addictive i use it even here at home so go to that link drink lmnt slash rambino and go and get you some of that now let's keep on going what's going on with the trail out there so Tupac, he has made it to New York. Frodo, he is within sight of Baxter Peak. And I asked him if he was going to leave the ring there, and he said, nope, the ring's going with him to the PCT. So that's cool. Trash Hiker, he is heading into the 100-mile wilderness. So in the next um, week to 10 days, we should see him summiting. Uh, three Tack, she is halfway done uh, with her hike. Rock and Roll has made it to Connecticut. Ron78, he flipped up to DeCannon, New York, because he is running out of time on his visa. Uh, he is from across the big pond, and so he was going to uh, try to get that extended, but there's a lot of junk that goes on with that, and plus he's got to get back to Brussels for work. And he did say that uh, you know, he didn't know if he could get that extra time with his employer starting a new job, uh, so that's kind of hard to do. 
take time off before you actually start doing making time with your new employer. But anyway, hopefully that works out for him. Wrong way is now BD. So she has made it over Mount Musilaki as well. Oz the psych hiking sailor, he has made it past the 1500 mile mark and he says he's getting closer and closer and getting happier and happier. So Griff, who was a through hiker, I believe from last year, the year before last, he was on the Foothills trails with us and um, Griff was short for Gryffindor but Griff hiked out of Damascus at Trail Days and headed towards Springer. So he's either doing a lash, it very well may turn into a through hike, and he's hoping it will uh, if things work out for him at home. But the reason I'm talking about a lasher here uh, is because when he got to Amicola Falls State Park, they gave him a bag tag number of 3,055, and they said he was the first flip-floppers. So that's kind of been the first indication of who, how many Nobo we have that have left out of Springer. So it looks like that may be 354. That's, that's unconfirmed, but that's kind of the best way I know of coming up with it. Uh, I probably could call down there and find out from them. Um, but in any case, uh, that looks like is how many Nobos left was 3,054. Uh, Cobweb Rose, Mountain Crusher, and Snapshot, they have made it halfway, and they are currently in Roxylvania. Sunshine, he has made it past the one-third marker, and this puts him somewhere north of Delville. Boston, he's made it halfway third Ver Vermont and probably should be in New Hampshire by now. He's the one who sent me the one picture from Hike Naked Day, and you'll notice here there are more wrinkles than in my wife's quilt there. So some of y'all just don't need to be making pictures of you hiking naked. Some of you don't need to be hiking naked, period, full stop. So uh, have fun out there on the trail no, no matter what you're doing. So I appreciate, well, actually I don't, Boston, but I want to include it anyway. And then Fortune, he is almost through Massachusetts. So we did have a summit that got reported in from folks that we have been tracking, and that's Bear Hang. He summited last week, and he said his tag number was uh 275 when he left uh springer it was number 36 at harper's ferry and when he summited there and got his uh his summit card number uh, down at baxter state park it was number 18 so congratulations to bear hang that's awesome folks out there send me your summit want to see your pictures and know what summit number you were that was on your uh your summit card that they gave you uh when you summited uh so we can kind of keep track of how many nobos have summited so far uh, and then if you're out there on the trail you want to be included in this each week send me a dm or a uh, email and i'll be glad to include you uh, a picture does well with your lovely face in it your face not your naked parts uh and uh because um i like you know people like seeing other people in in their picture whether at it views or in front of your mile mark or whatever but please include your face in it uh you can send me a quick 30 second or less video that would be awesome as well uh just uh, giving other hikers well wishers or telling us about what's going on, on the trail so we appreciate that so some news we got out there from our northern correspondent whispers whispers he says that the trails in the southern portion of the park and that's baxter state park are flooded so uh, he referred me to a Facebook page up there, and it's actually the Baxter State Park Facebook page. So there are places on the trail up there uh, where when you get to Baxter State Park, probably a little before it, you may be walking thigh high, waist high, chest deep on the Appalachian Trail through there. They had a dam release uh, that occurred, and uh, because obviously all the rain they've had up there, that the you know, whatever it was holding back was going to be, the dam was going to be inundated if they didn't release it. So they had to get rid of that. And so there are some AT trails that go up to Katahdin that are flooded. Uh, A-Ball Stream Trail and the lower portions of Foss and Knowlton and the Blueberry Ledges Trail are flooded. So, you know, remember these use of this is dangerous to use these trails. Uh, hopefully you can look at it and tell if the water's moving swift or not. If it's not moving, might be it's safer, but you don't know what's under the water, what you're gonna drop off in. You ain't wearing a life preserver. If you're wearing a pack, you're wearing a weight. Uh, so keep that in mind. And uh, you guys just be careful out there, but enjoy what you're doing. Then I wanna give a shout out to Trail Angel Spineless Cougar and his partner, Ruth Walker in Vermont. 
they have been doing some trail magic there. He said they've been averaging 21 hikers a day, but they had about 30 naked hikers show up at their trail magic site. So thanks for not sending me a picture of that. I don't need to see that. Here are some hikers that are fully clothed uh, at his trail at his site there. Uh, so Spineless Cougar, we appreciate you doing that. He also tries to get hikers to weigh their uh, packs there. So it's pretty cool to, to hear what the pack weights are once you get that far north. So he sent me a bunch of them, but I'll just give you the average. The average weight was 30. The heaviest pack was 37, and somebody had one at 20. So they undoubtedly had to be out of food uh, and water by the time they got there. But those are some pretty interesting pack weights. Uh, the Kennebec Ferry that was closed due all the water and the water that they were getting up north there was creating too swift conditions to navigate with just a canoe paddling. Uh, so they had closed it, but it is back open now. However, there are going to be some pretty significant rains coming through New Hampshire and uh, Maine, and so the ferry may close again. Certainly, there's already been warnings for stream crossings up there, so be careful. Uh, those may get uh, worse um but before all this rain stops and then vinnie mez he's a viewer he sent in from northern new jersey and is reporting that higher than normal bear encounters and black bear no numbers have been reported there in northern new jersey so matter of fact they've already closed one of the parks up there i don't know if that affects the at or not but just be uh not know that that's coming up there uh, and that you may have some more bear encounters up there. And then Fresh Ground, he is right in the middle of his fundraiser for the Sobos, so he's off the CDT, back home now, going to take a few weeks off and uh, kind of uh, reboot and replenish, and, uh, and, and then he is going to be getting back on trail, starting up north, and he'll be helping the Sobos and looking out for them all the way down. Of course, he helps anybody that he runs, to, runs through on runs into on the trail. So he's right in the middle of his fundraiser. You can go to his uh, Facebook page, and there you'll find all the ways you can give to him, and he's got a bukus of ways to do that. He is a 501c3. Uh, he does consider that his ministry, and it is very much a ministry. Uh, and so uh, you anything you give to him is tax deductible. And then I'm asking for a special favor. Uh, not a big deal out there, uh, but I'm going to be doing a hike my – Annual one year or annual one week lash is going to be this year. I'm going to be starting at um, the the border there, or just south of the border between Vermont and uh, Massachusetts. And so we had started there. I believe it's North Adams. And so come along and I. When we started doing Vermont, we started there, of course, because that's you can't start, you can't access right at the state line of Vermont. Uh, that's actually the approach, the AT is the approach trail up to the long trail that starts there at the state line. And so uh, we uh, we got shuttled in by retread, uh, picked us up at the airport and in Albany. And so he took us to North Adams and then we took off north from there. And of course he was, he's a trail angel. So he supported us the whole way. And that was awesome for him to do that. We greatly appreciate that. And he did us uh, the following year as well. Well, this year I'm going to get a chance to hike with him. So he's going, going to uh, pick me up at the airport again, take me to North Adams, and then I'm doing a subo trip down to uh, the Connecticut state line. So Retread's not going to be able to go with me the whole time because he's going to be turning around after a few days and heading north up into Vermont to help out uh, do, be a trail angel for hikers up there. But I'm going to need a ride from somewhere around the Connecticut border, don't know if I'll make it all the way or not, but that is the plan. But I'll need a ride to Albany Airport from there. I'll need a shuttle. And so I'm unfamiliar with the folks that shuttle up that way. So if you've got some good ideas for folks that shuttle up that way, there, there's one called uh, Jess, uh, and uh, she's not available, so no point in giving me her name uh, because she's taking some time off. But, uh, but if you know some folks up there, I'd greatly appreciate you. Uh, sending me their contact information and that way uh, I got to get back to the Albany airport so I'll be going Friday to Friday so Friday the 21st so send me in those suggestions of course subscribe to this channel that helps out give me a thumbs up uh, uh, appreciate those as well that helps this channel get out to other people uh, but send me your comments love your comments love chatting with you online and everything uh, 
Uh, if you've got any questions, be glad to either answer those or feature those in an upcoming video. And uh, maybe the uh, hiker community out there at large can answer your question. Folks, that's all I got this week. Thanks for hanging in there to the end. As always, appreciate you, and we'll see you out here.